Hey, um, I'm just turning on the camera for the first time in what feels like forever and I spit myself in the first second but I think I'm just gonna keep that in because the main reason why I'm not uploading any videos is because I overthink a lot and I am a perfectionist that can never reach any standard so I think what I'm gonna try to help myself here is I'm just gonna make chill videos again and have fun again and that's what I want to do I just want to connect again I want to talk to you guys I want to share what I'm working on and um, yeah I just got a Vista print, print. <laughs> I just got a Vista print package and I just want to show what I am working on right now and what just came and what I'm doing with Patreon and what I have planned for the upcoming month. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you. Let's get into it. So there's like two main things happening right now. One is my Patreon theme, which is the last unicorn and which is gonna be the theme for February. Yeah, right. <laughs> and I just got a Vista print order that I was just talking about. Let's just do like a mini unboxing maybe and kind of see what everything looks like so this is one of the main postcards I'm just gonna show you like this you have probably seen it already but if you haven't this is what the back looks like by the way I haven't shown that yet I usually do like for my postcards have a front and then like a back design as well uh, with like the tiny little unicorn guy <laughs> and these are soft touch I really like them they look good um let's see what do we have here so oh yeah so this is the card for the washi samples obviously there's going to be washi tape going across but just kept it pretty simple this time um not overthinking things too much this is the collectible card and as you can kind of see um it has like uv gloss on all the elements in the front and then just says thank you so much for your support and which month it is and oh my gosh i'm really excited about the like i'm trying something new with the spot uv gloss what i usually do oh, let me grab one of my business cards what i usually do is i have like spot uv on like a frame and a tiny thing here but i kind of switched it up um they're building the roof of our house by the way that's in case you can hear any like weird sounds but yeah i like this um i've been kind of thinking about rebranding my patreon for the new year so i'm just like kind of switching stuff up here and sit here and there and kind of see what sticks and which what i like you know a four square oh god i feel like i ordered the wrong size square prints getting kind of nervous these are huge yeah i think i did don't know how that happened um i mean i can still sell them i guess but i would have to repurchase the i mean oh my gosh they do look good though oh my god these are huge the color the print is really crisp and like nice even though it is bigger than intended um let me see if I can give you a comparison. These are A5 notepads and these are the prints. So this is the typical size of the box. And yeah, I ordered the prints way too big, but oh well. Um, I'm just gonna reorder and have these in my shop. The back is white by the way, but shoot. <laughs> How did I mess that up? But it looks pretty though, and I have a ton of them now, but oh well. So the second thing that is kind of exciting and that I'm going to be doing is a Valentine's Day themed shop update. And I already got some stickers in the mail yesterday, I think. So it's like a redraw of a Valentine's Day theme that I did quite a while ago, I think in 2020. So Valentine's Day 2020. And I redrew some of the characters. So this is one of them. And I have her as a sticker. And I made some, um, what's it called? Greeting cards, yeah. Okay, so this is what the inside looks like. And then here we have the outside cover design and they fold. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> Excited so you go I can kind of you know what a greeting card is. But I made three different designs and I also have also have matching envelopes for them. And the idea is to let me fill my face a bit. And the idea is to have um greeting cards in my shop that you can either buy as a greeting card obviously or you can have me write something for someone like in the gift message area you can leave something and then i will write that in here and you can send it to like a friend or a loved one just like because i just you know love sending people stuff and it's super easy if you let that go through a shop you know like they can just send that to you know what I mean. oh my gosh i shouldn't try to explain things but you know so the idea is that you can just send stuff to your friends through me basically and yeah i get like the card and the sticker and so this is the first design that i made and then there is the second one which is like a valentine's girl that i redraw or used to redraw so i have like a twin 2019, a 2020, and now a 2023 version. So same inside. Then this is what the girl on the cover looks like. It's the same back as the other one. And then obviously something to write in. The third card isn't in here yet. There's still some stuff missing, but I'm gonna just add her on screen. And I also put her on my business card. I'm not sure if I like the front design now that I think about it but it's soft touch and nice and has rounded corners she's okay <laughs> not overthinking things too much but this is what the back looks like and I prefer the back actually I think but yeah she is cute and she matches with the theme which is the most important part right and then I also got some thank you cards to match when I do a shop update I usually try and like keep everything on theme as good as I can um, so I'm going to be adding the December sugar plum fairy stuff as well. So that's also going to fit in pretty well, I think. And everything's going to be pink and cute. And so this is the front of the thank you card. And then I did like a similar design to the greeting cards on the back, just like with my typical thank you message. I like her. Maybe I should have put her on the um, business card as well, but it looks cute together, right? So, yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do everything yet, but I'm just gonna dump all the Valentine's Day stuff on my shop area, just so <laughs> I can show you the rest of what I'm working on. Okay, so here's the other stuff I want to show you. Um, all the washi tapes and sticker sheets for the unicorn theme are in here. And also the stickers. So I have pretty much everything. And now what is very exciting about this month is I have these sketchbooks right here um, that I'm going to be adding to the Paper Nova boxes. And I've been on the lookout for the perfect sketchbook <laughs> to include in the Paper Nova box. Um, let me, where did I, yeah, here you can see, um, in here, this is kind of like a junk drawer in my, my studio, but in here I have just some, just some of the sketchbooks that I tried in order to get the right one for this theme. And I also purchased this hot stamping machine because one of my biggest dreams was to be able to hot stamp foil on papers books, products, whatever. So I got one of those and I also custom made a foil stamp for this theme. So here you can already see kind of the foil stamp that I made. I'm gonna add it on screen as well. But this was my first try with the first sketchbook that I got. Um, these are from Flyer Alarm and this is the standard notebook that you get when you buy custom printed notebooks in Germany at least. Um, it's thin paper 80 grams per square meter and it is very lovely it has like a soft outside 
um, but as you can see it's kind of difficult to stamp foil on this because it is very smooth and it kind of spreads and also the paper was too thin for me if I add a sketchbook I want the quality to be good right since I use sketchbooks myself and I want just wanted to be artist friendly so this was another thing I tested this is like brown paper also thin but kind of fun um, it ended up being too difficult to print on paper just like this um, it works on paper if, if it has like a coating you know coated paper works really well but just like natural paper it is kind of difficult to stamp um, but yeah here's a, some of my tries also I felt, felt like this wasn't on theme enough so this was another try um, another one of them and oh yeah I also tested printing on these like file thingies um, and it is kind of spotty because of the texture but it is something I want to look into more in the future just like doing custom versions of these maybe I just gotta play around with the machine more as well it could be that this is doable if you are clever <laughs> who knows um, but yeah this is the sketchbook I landed on in the end um, because it is very cute and it is a it is expensive but still affordable for the box and I love the paper it is really nice and thick and it does say on the packaging that it is suitable for like watercolor and inks and sketching and everything and it is some testing here and as you can see the inks and everything doesn't bleed through at all markers do and you can also use a light coating of water i really like this sketchbook um so i bought 170 of these and initially i wanted to do foil for the cover but now i kind of tried a bunch of different things and now i kind of settled for this um just hot stamping on the material which i feel like looks more elevated because the the foiling was kind of messy you can kind of see um, the issues I had with it it doesn't look clean but with the just the hot stamping it looks very clean very nice and also decided to add these edges to all of the books so I got a bunch of these as well and now we just gotta hot stamp all the books so we gotta open them hot stamp them add the corners to finish them up for the box um my brother's gonna come in today and help me do that because that's a lot of work but i'm really passionate about these these are really fun and i know it's cool to be able to do this kind of stuff at home so that's why i got the hot filing machine just because i love like crafty stuff okay now i want to show you the remaining stuff that i have for the unicorn theme apart from the sketchbooks and everything um the boxes themselves haven't arrived yet i also added like a foiled unicorn logo on the inside i'm gonna yeah that's them working on the roof <laughs> i'm just gonna push through so here are the labels the colors kind of got too dark here and kind of bled in but i'm okay with that it's just for the boxes just like as de decoration to make them look cute so that's okay here's the sticker sheet that i made um originally i just had the items on here but they felt kind of boring so i added the like foil framing for them kind of see it also has like these like stars here so you have like little stars and all the elements to make your sketchbook or planner look really pretty and everything kind of started with like that main print where do i have it that like huge one the square that i showed you i just made that pattern kind of inspired by the last unicorn and then i just kind of ended up using it for everything <laughs> because i liked it so i also kind of re re placed the items on the pattern to make the washi tape as well so i just kind of cut everything out and then like placed it in jesus can i then I place it in like a washi tape shape and these are kind of inspired by the like William Morris washi tapes because I'm obsessed with them. I don't know if you've seen them. Just like a regular top down view is easier for this kind of stuff anyway, but I'm always scared it's boring. But so here's the washi tape and I'm so happy with these. I haven't been this happy with a washi tape in a long time. 
but yeah it's just like the pattern but as a tape obviously just said that and here a close-up of the sticker sheets again oh. and here i can also show you the collectible card again everything kind of works with each other which i really like so i might do more of that with the next theme as well who knows then here i also have the stamp stickers so it's again just like the items from the um pattern but like reimagined as stamps and i still have to cut out all of these because it is financially more affordable to just cut them myself instead of having them be bought like instead of buying them as individual sheets um, my manufacturer charges way more but if i just get a big sheet and cut them myself um, i save like 200 bucks or something so that's why but my brother's gonna do that he's really good at it so don't have to worry about that too much luckily um let's also talk about the stickers now i also want to show those i saved on opening them just so i can show them to you Okay, so here is like the extra Paper Nova sticker. This is just like an extra for the box people. Look how cute. <laughs> I don't usually draw this kind of more simple stuff or in this kind of style, but this was really fun and just felt really good. And then this is the main sticker that everyone is gonna get. So just the portrait I did of Lady Amalthea. Oh, this one's kind of beat up. They all kind of, Oh no, it's not beat up, it's just the texture. <laughs> okay, good. Um, I've been using like a pencil texture and to make it look, look textured, but I got kind of scared that it was beat up. But no, that's just the texture, Sonia. <laughs> but yeah, I think this is, again, also one of my favorite stickers I've ever made. This theme, I was very stressed during, during, doing, while I was doing it, but now in the end, I'm pretty happy with everything actually, but that's how it always goes for me. I'm like stress, stress, stress. And then in the end, I'm like, oh, this wasn't too bad at all. <laughs> and the colors are pretty close, I think. This is like Vista Print and Sticker App, but it works really well. And what I did to make that process easier this time is I made a color palette in Procreate that I made in a CMYK file beforehand. And then I just used that color palette for everything, which made it a lot easier and kind of helped me get accurate colors. So making your color palette in CMYK is very helpful if you want to make printed products, you know? Um, so that's what I'm going to do for my next theme as well, because it, you know, makes everything look more consistent. And I really like, like that. Hi. Okay. It's the next day and my studio does look very messy. This is from me filming yesterday and hi Mina. We did get somewhere with the sketchbooks yesterday. My brother came, like I said, and helped me. And in two hours, he was able to unpackage all of these. Um, I think these are like 150 or something. Now they're just like clean sketchbooks that we can stamp today, which is exciting. I wanna show you how I do that in a minute. Also got another delivery today. So these are the regular boxes that I use in my orders. They have like a um, gold foil thank you stamp. I also got the ones that I made for the Unicorn Paper Nova boxes. And as you can see, they have like a, they have like a silver foil unicorn symbol it's the same as on the sketchbooks to kind of make everything work together there you go you can kind of see once these are done i'm just adding the labels like this on top these basically don't do anything they're just for decoration basically so that's how they go on just to make them look pretty um because this glue right here holds the boxes together well enough but i want them to look cute so that's how they're gonna look two more things came in i got the last missing valentine's day cards so these balloon ones have like a different inside with the balloons and then a different back as well i really like them 
Uh, so I now have all of them and I need to do some product photography. Today is pretty gloomy, so I might do it tomorrow and then do the shop update tomorrow as well. But I have to see. Um, I also got the square prints for the Milky Mail envelopes. This is what the back looks like. I just kind of wanted to make it look interesting. And this is the front. So I now have everything technically to get started on the Milky Mail envelopes. So let's see how far we get today. So this is the hot foil press that I bought right here. That's my label printer, just ignore him. But I just wanted to show you kind of how it works. So this is basically just a really hot pressed, like the most important part is just this hot area right here. And the fact that you can press it down and how it works is you attach these stamp thingies um, that press down the image or whatever image you want to press down. <laughs> Sorry, I'm really bad at explaining today, but you can see what the unicorn stamp looks like. And I got this made with a seller on Alibaba, if you are curious. So now you just kind of put this in and then you can press with it. I took it out so you guys could see. Now I have to add it in again. Here we go. Okay, so now it's secure and again you just press down and obviously have something underneath to press onto. Okay, now I'm gonna turn the machine on and then right here you have the desired temperature and the temperature of the hot plate right now. So now you just gotta wait until this heats up and then we can do a test stamp if you want. I do have one of the sketchbooks that I, that was me, um, I made, I like ruined this one to sell so I can show you what the stamping process looks like on that one since it's basically my copy. Um, we also need to add these book corners to all of them. That's gonna be the next step after we did the stamping, but I don't know if you guys know these, but I'm just gonna quickly show you how it works. Um, you add them to corners of books and then you kind of tighten it and then it just kind of makes the corner more sturdy and it just looks cool. <laughs> I'm mainly doing it because it looks cool, but I we have to still like figure out the process because this is kind of time time intensive. Um, and now it has all the corners. Um, we are going to do stamping first and then corners, though I think that makes it easier. Well, it probably won't, like the corners don't really interfere with the printing, but anyway, luckily this is 12 by 12, which is the exact measurement of the, um, of the book. So we just need to place it in the middle right here. We might do like add a 12 here as well, just like align it. I also made another form. This is the design, um, just like the last unicorn title. I ended up using this for the washi samples and not for much else. I might still offer sketchbooks with this cover in my shop once um, I'm, I add the unicorn items. But yeah, now it's just like a spare one that I just wanted to also test out. But yeah, I decided on the unicorns, unicorns in the end because my patrons also preferred them. Okay, let's see how I film this. We are centered and everything. And now I just gotta press down for like just a few seconds, just like two, three seconds and then can release. So. I'm pressing one, two, three, releasing. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, I think I didn't press enough. <laughs> this is not the effect that I wanted. Okay, wait, let me try again on the back side. I didn't press hard enough, I think, but let me see. Also think the placement is too low, so I might have to go to like a 10, 
10 and a half maybe. Let me try in the back. So like 10 and a half and really pressing down this time. So one, two, three. Okay, yeah, that one worked. Oh, and I like the placement too, I think. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Oh, just like the unicorn logo. I mean, it would have been amazing if I got it on the front, but we're still learning. So um, yeah, I think 10 and a half is perfect for the placement. So they are, well, now that I'm thinking I could, what do you think? Like just a tiny bit lower or do you like the higher placement? I could see like, um, like 11 maybe too so i might do 11 later just like a tiny bit further down but yeah that's what it looks like it's pretty quick so once we are kind of grooved in i think it should be fine maybe let's try another one like one of these that i have here this is what my brother did yesterday just like taking off the paper and everything let me try again so what if we do 11 Oh yeah, oh yeah, 11 is perfect, I think. Look, uh, it's like just a tiny bit shorter here and look like longer here, you know, just a tiny bit higher, that's what I like. Yeah, the placement looks good. Yeah, this is how I'm gonna do it for all of them. That's what it looks like. I don't know if you can see on camera if it looks good, but I'm really happy with them. Uh, <laughs> this is so fun, I love the like crafty stuff, you know? So there's one more thing I kind of want to talk about and that is my, or that are my plans for Fanguary and the March rewards. In 2022 I did a theme in April I think that was like a mushroom forager character and it was very dark academia with like a witchy foresty twist I guess and that theme was so fun. Whenever I do like a dark academia kind of vibe all the like brown earthy kind of tones it feels very me like i feel very comfy same with the pride and prejudice theme i also did very earthy colors that always feels very good so this year i kind of want to focus more on discovering my artistic voice so i kind of want to listen to that a bit more and i remember last time i really wanted to develop the character and like use the month to draw her and her home and kind of figure out who she is maybe write a story for myself and yeah those things are kind of things that are important to me and I did um like a worksheet that Loish has on her patreon where you kind of fill out what your main inspirations are and where you want to take them in the new year so for me main inspirations would be um storytelling um, character development those are things that inspire me a lot I don't really use them for my work so that's something I want to change but yeah storytelling and then collages and journaling junk journaling those kind of things also very much inspire me um, I have this print right here that I did for the coastal grandma theme in August I think um, where I did like a collage with like a photo and layered things and this was so fun and I I still really like this print and um, I want to try this again. I want to try this like collage style. The third inspiration were like zines and tactile products and that kind of stuff and like also you know witchy and academia stuff. So all those inspirations I want to take them Put them together into one project and i made this like brainstorming page right here i used the sketchbook again and i just like wrote down what i want to do i'm gonna take a photo of this and have it on patreon later as well as my other sketch pages for this i want to make a zine where i develop a character um i want to add on to the character i developed last year um I, i'm gonna name her mani and She's going to be a witch who lives in the woods and she collects all kinds of stuff. And then she has a small shop in her village where she sells all kinds of stuff that she finds and kind of puts together and like she brings it into a new form. So she makes these like um, glass domes with skulls and mushrooms and 
moss and all those kind of things in a nice way so she um so she kind of transforms things that are kind of forgotten in the woods like she finds them and transforms them into something that people want to buy and cherish so that's kind of the idea i have for her um i don't know about her story yet but i think it could be cool to go through the zine and maybe over time uncover more of her character but i don't want to put too much pressure but we're gonna see i also kind of want to combine it with Fungary, the um, prompt list by FIFA. I don't think I want to do characters, just like standalone characters. I want to just incorporate the mushrooms just as some inspiration for some of the things, I think. And in the end, I kind of want this to be a sketchbook zine, but kind of as if Marnie made that sketchbook. So one page in the beginning could be like, um, this book belongs to page. And then it's just like a photo, photo of Marnie and just like her introducing herself, you know? And I think that could be fun. Just like her writing down things in her diary and kind of drawing her desk, drawing what's in her bag, drawing her home and me showing and developing the character that way. So that's my idea. <laughs> Only have that and some sketches on my iPad, but that's what I want to do today. But yeah, that's something I just, I don't know. I just wanted to show you and I, want to document the process because I look back on last year's posts and everything and I kind of wanted to see what I had documented of the process of me making or wanting to do something like this for the character and I couldn't find anything so this time I want to document the process more and kind of show you where I am hopefully make more vlogs again and I think what I'm gonna do is stop the vlog here just keep it simple and short upload it so i have no excuses to um not finish it up because usually i film like enough for a vlog probably but then i think okay i'm gonna wait to tomorrow because there's something else i'm gonna do and then i don't film then and then i'm like oh well no <laughs> it took too long or i didn't film this so the vlog is useless and i don't upload it all those things. So I'm going to film tomorrow when I prep for the shop update, but that's just gonna be a new vlog. And when you see this, I probably have the shop update tomorrow or I already have it, so. <laughs> I don't know, sorry. <laughs> I'm not thinking as much, which, which is good, I think. So um, yeah, I really had fun. Like I had a lot of fun filming this again and I'm excited to start chill vlogs again and share with you what i'm doing and i hope you're having an amazing day and i'm gonna see you very soon hopefully in my next vlog bye